Hello class, welcome to another lesson in biology. Today, we'll be looking at the life cycle of cockroaches. I'm Nisi Jini and Jaminza. Let's begin. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the life cycle of cockroaches, their economic importance, and how to control their spread. So to begin with, cockroaches undergo incomplete metamorphosis. When we talk about incomplete metamorphosis, we are looking at the life cycle which has three stages the egg stage, the nymph stage, and the adult stage. More on that in our video on metamorphosis. So when you take a look at the picture here, you have the nymph stage of the cockroach. And you notice that the nymph stage, the nymph looks exactly like the adult. The only difference is that the nymph does not have wings and is sexually immature. So they are omnivorous in nature. Omnivores are organisms that feed on both plants and animals. And they eat almost everything, which includes your leftover meals from the previous night, strips of paper, and generally anything that they find their hands on, they are able to feed on them. So the life cycle being that of incomplete metamorphosis, we have the adults laying eggs, and the eggs maturing into the nymphs and then the nymph maturing into the adult and then the cycle repeats itself. So taking a look at the various stages in the life cycle, we look at the first one which is the eggs. Mostly the eggs are laid in an egg case known as the uthica. Here you see the abdominal region of the adult housing and subsequently releasing the egg case which is the uthica. So the uthica or eggshell covering is found in the female cockroach's abdomen as you see here. An uthica sac contains about 50 eggs that are produced by the fertilized female cockroach. So fertilization will occur when the male and female mate. In order to safeguard the eggs until they reach the name stage, the cockroaches transport them in the uthica. After 30 to 100 days, the eggs hatch into the nymph. So this is a clearer picture of the egg case at the abdominal region of the adult. For the nymph stage, as I already mentioned, it looks exactly like the adult. That's why this is an incomplete metamorphosis. The nymph cockroach undergoes several stages of molting. It transforms into a white colored body with each molting. Gradually, the nymph becomes larger in size as it molts in various stages and its exoskeleton becomes more rigid and darker so the adult usually has a darker color than the younger one and it's also much larger than the nymph the nymph stage lasts for a span of 11 to 14 months so here we have a picture showing a clear depiction of the various stages which happen in the metamorphosis of the cockroach so we have the egg case maturing into the nymph the nymph molting in several stages to reach the adult stage which has the wings and see the changes in terms of color as they age then we have the adult stage the adult stage is also referred to as the imago so in the adult stage mainly there are two wings and that is one way to distinguish between that of the nymph with the imago. Another thing is that the adult also is sexually mature. So the imago may live for about 3 to 12 months. So the economic importance of cockroaches. So economic importance is referring to the positive and negative impact or effect that a cockroach may have as a pest. So the economic importance here is that they shed their skins and their droppings which contaminate hundreds of thousands of kilograms of stored food every year. So they cause a lot of damage and money loss or to crops and food and income to the farmers or even to individuals. They also are considered to be vectors because they carry pathogens or parasites which transmit diseases such as typhoid fever and hepatitis. They also destroy clothing, carpet, paper and shoes. Remember we said that the cockroaches they can feed on almost anything at all. They contaminate food and water and then they also live on pleasant odor in residences and offices. So how can we control their spread? We can do so by proper sanitation. In terms of sanitation, we are looking at cleaning the environment, covering of being, clearing food after eating and also noticing the areas where they dwell and putting traps and baits there to kill them. You can also use insecticides or any chemicals that are specifically used for killing or treating the spread of these insects. I hope this class has been insightful for you. Do well to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment any questions you have below and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.